Okay, let's try to implement this uh, to do application. The simple to do application in the uh, left side you have uh, a box, it's a kind of a form where you uh, type the title. Uh, this tennis go to tennis at 8 pm. Okay, so when I click the save button, the to do is coming here. Okay, so this is a very simple application, okay, and uh, basically you need to uh, display it on the uh, display all the to dos on the right hand side. Okay, so now for this to do, now what you need to have this is a web application, right? You need to store all the data in the back end, right? Okay, so our application looks like you need to have a uh, uh, back end, you need to have a back end system. Okay, in the back end, you need to connect to a database. And you have to store the data, right? You have to store all the to dos. Okay, so in the back end, so first let's design the back end for this. In the back end, what is the first thing you need to do? Okay, so this data, right, the title and description from where it is coming, it is coming from the front end. Okay, so front end is some PC, back end is in some other PC, right? It's, it's a server, it is some other, somewhere in the internet, okay? And uh, all, this, both the systems are connected via internet. Okay, so now how this data will go to the back end? It has to go via a HTTP request to the back end. So now you are going to put the data in the database, right? So it will be post method. Okay, so basically this is how data is transferred from front end to back end. Okay, now when you have to design the back end, what is the first thing you need to look? So how you get the data? You get the data via HTTP request. First, you have to handle the request in the back end. So first thing you have to think is you need to start a HTTP server. Now, okay, let's first find out what are the things to be done. What is the second thing you need to do? After the request comes, you start a HTTP server. The so server receives a request. Okay, there can be many requests. This is one request to put the post the data in the database. There can be requests to get the data. There can be requests to delete the data. There can be requests to change the data. Right. So this is what is create, read, and update the information in the database. Right. So for all the requests, right, you need to do a different operation. So you need to define APIs in the backend. APIs are nothing but functions which will handle these requests. You call it API or you call it routes. Okay. Or you can call it endpoint. Okay, so these are basically functions which will handle the different requests and, and will perform the appropriate operation. Post now, it will put the data in the database. Get now, that function will get the information in the database and send it back to your uh, uh, client. This is the client and that is the server. Okay, excuse me for my band handling. Okay, so this is what is it? Mainly two things you have to do, right? You have to start a HTTP server and you implement all the routes, okay? But before you do it, this, right, it's better. The main thing you have to do is the design. Especially how you are going to implement the routes. What are the different routes you are going to have and a high level of how are you going to implement it? Okay, and for our to-do application, the database is so simple, right? Uh, you need to have just uh, 
you need to store title and description if this is two things you need to store okay but for complex application there may be you can store this in a table okay if you use mongodb that will call collection so you can have one collection and you can store these two things okay so you need to basically do the db design this is a database design in the database design you will find out what are the different collections and what are the fields in each collection and how one collection is connected to another collection okay so this db design is important so after doing this design right then you can go and implement your thing but this is what is the thing you have to do in the back end okay let's now do what has to be done for the front end okay so in the front end you have to display these two things right these two content and there is some data you have to display okay so obviously you need to have the structure of your uh, uh, web page so you need to have one html file you can have many html file also let's have this to do dot html okay so what will have in the html you need to have probably one h1 tag one uh, label one input tag here and again this is a label this is again a input tag and this is a button you should put all these things in a div and you have to give this background color for this div and some border for the div these are all static uh, information right so that you can put do it in the html file so this is fine and you have to give uh, margin top margin left uh, some padding for uh, your text uh, and so that it is getting displayed here okay so that you can do it in the html file and all the style right that margin top all these things you do it in your to do dot css okay and this is done here and for this what you have to do for this the same thing in the html file right uh, this contents right these contents are not it's are not not static content these are all dynamic content these contents are present in the database okay so you have to first get this information from the database to display here okay but what is static here the thing is probably in the html you can have a div to put this background color and the border and inside the div right you can have this is what this is kind of a unordered list right you can have a unordered list element right okay and only this is this is what is static and this you can have in your html file and all the line item right these are all nothing but your line items these are all dynamic content dynamic content cannot be present in the html file okay so this html file will contain this information and the basic of div and the ul uh, ul element unordered list element alone will be there okay and the styling for this also you can put a id or class here and the styling can be in the css okay now you have to get the data from the database right and that, that logic should be in your javascript file okay so what will be there in the javascript file first thing you have to do is you have to get all this element from the database so you can have a, in this javascript file you can have a function right this function what you can do is you can get that all the element from the database from the back end for that you have to do what you have to do you have to send the http request get request you have to send okay how you will do it you can you, you can do it using the fetch method okay get the request so now you send the request so using fetch you send the get request you send the get request and you get the data right but furthermore you have to think what you have to do in the fetch while sending the request right while sending http what you need to do what you need to have you need to have a url like local host colon 3000 or something which which url your server is listening right that url 
and the method you need to send what is the method whether it's a post get or a port and apart from that what you have to send you have to send suppose you are sending any data you have to send it via header or body or through params so that also you have to specify in the, your fetch for get you are not sending any data so you need not mention any body just a url method is enough so you get the data once you get the data right what you have to do you have to in the javascript you have to go manipulate the dom so that the content is displayed in the page how to manipulate the dom you have to use document dot uh, create element what element you have to create you have to create a line item and in that inner html you have to put the data you got and that is what you have to do in this function if you do that in the function the data will get displayed here okay so we will see how to implement it i'm just giving you overview of what has to be done in the front end this is this is kind of a high level overview of what you need to do okay so this this map has to be clear when you start coding okay but before you do all these things first thing you have to do is your design in the front end first thing you have to do how your page has to look like what are the things it has to come what is the background color for each one the look and feel right that you have to design okay and then you can do a you can do a functional level design what are the functions i'm going to have and when that will be invoked okay so what is the function you can have this fetch function fetch all which will fetch all the data and update the dom that is one function fetch all function this is fetch all function okay what is the other function you, you can have right so when you click save button right you have to send this data via post method right so for that you can basically have a function to create to do what this function will do this function will get the data from here and it will send the data in the post method to the back end the back end will store the data in the database and after you do a create to do you fetch the data again and display it here okay so on a high level this is what you need to do for the back end and the front end 